Okay guys, today we are going to be talking about intakes and not just any intake, but this intake right here. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Carbon Automotive, located in Paintsville, Kentucky. Listen, if you have something wrong with your car, or if you just want it to go faster, these guys are the ones to call. Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about intake manifolds for your LS, and uh, which is right for you. Uh, there's a lot of different selections out there, a lot of different types and brands, and uh, today we're going to be talking about a budget-friendly setup that I think is going to be great, uh, especially for any type of uh, nitrous or uh, boost application. So, let's get started. Now, I am sure many of you have seen uh, this intake before. Uh, this is kind of a, um, a knockoff brand, or what I like to call like the Dollar General store version uh, of the Holly Sniper. Now, when these first came out, uh, these little China builds like this were pretty rough. Uh, it's, it's very safe to say that the overall quality of them were pretty much garbage. But I've got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, they seem to have upped uh, their quality a little bit on these uh, so now they're actually not that bad to look into i would still check with the uh the seller ratings just to make sure though that you're still getting one of the better ones and not one of the garbage ones all right guys so let's just go ahead and start off with talking about um like the money on this okay so when i say budget friendly uh you can normally pick these up for around 450 bucks which is really not bad uh, for an aftermarket intake, especially something that's gonna be able to handle nitrous and boost. Whoosh, whoosh noises. Uh, this is a 102 millimeter. Uh, as you can see, you can stick your whole fist in that. Like, look at that, that is huge. Uh, which makes it great, especially for some of your larger cube engines. Now this particular one right here, uh, this is set up, uh, it will uh, bolt up to an LS1, an LS2, or an LS6. So it has these really cool areas right here for your injectors to go ahead and mount. And of course, areas back here in the back for various sensors that you might need. Now, we've talked about price. This is obviously a very budget-friendly setup. And I'm sure most of you guys are thinking, yeah, well, I could go to the junkyard for the same price and grab an LS6 or whatever. And you know what? Yeah, you could. Um, but let's talk about application, okay? Why would you want one of these versus, say, a factory LS6? These runners are set up. They're kind of a short runner setup. These do have the velocity stacks on the inside. This particular design and this setup of an intake, it moves your torque curb and your RPM band a little higher up than, than a stock one. So it makes these a lot more suited for drag racing, and it also makes them a lot more suited for booster nitrous applications. Given that the factory intakes and even the super nice LSXR uh, 102 intakes like I have running on Reaper, are made of like a plastic, like a composite material, and those are great intakes, but I would not recommend them for boost. I've seen far too many of those crack under boost. Got the car unloaded. Was an adventure because it kept wanting to free rev up to about three, four grand. I can see a little better how cracked it is. Now granted, if you're running like five pounds of boost, then sure. For LSXR would be just fine, but you know, once you start getting past like 10 pounds of boost, I would not recommend running one of the plastic composite intakes. I've just seen too many of them fail. Now, of course there is a downside to this. Yes, this is not as high of a quality as something like you would get from Holly itself. It's not gonna make the same peak power levels as a Holly High Ram, but you're gonna get a lot better hood clearance with this and the price is just so hard to beat, it really is. So let's go ahead and go over the pros and cons real quick cons of this intake. Given this aluminum design, um, I've had various reports of people that running, uh, people running this that said if they had any little bit of lifter chatter uh, or any type of drivetrain noise, that this would kind of uh, exemplify it. It would, uh, it would amplify it just a little bit. So you, would, you could actually hear the vibrations of the drivetrain kind of coming through this intake a little bit. Which of course, you know, most of the time if it's race car and... you're really not going to care much. Uh, con number two, uh, like I said, it is, uh, it's not a, it's not a brand name product. So therefore you're probably not going to get uh, the greatest 
uh, customer service if you do have uh, anything of, of any concern that you might have. So there's that. Pros of this intake. Cheap, man. Uh, it's a super cheap intake. They're all over eBay. You can get them at various other uh, automotive stores and stuff. Uh, it's 102 millimeters. Like I said, you can shove your entire fist in there. So, I mean, it's gonna be great for, uh, for a larger application. They have plenty of budget-friendly drive-by wire uh, throttle body setups to match it. And honestly, they just look really cool. I mean, look at it. Car, car. Oh my gosh, the just car, look at it. Car. Okay, so if you are staying naturally aspirated and you don't care to spend the extra coin, then I highly recommend getting the LSXR. Um, it has an amazing mid-range torque curve. Um, you can change the stacks out in it for if you want like a little more of a peak horsepower type deal or a mid-range torque, and I think they look great. However, if you are on a budget and you plan on running nitrous or boost, I really think this is the best way to go, guys. Uh, now again, if you, ha if you have the extra money, go with maybe something like a Holly High Ram. Now those require a lot of fitment issues. I've heard a lot of guys having to actually cut their windshields uh, or get custom windshields and cut the firewall back and everything just to get those to fit properly. Sorry, cowl, not firewall, the cowl. Anyways, there's a lot of fitment issues with those. Um, so this right here, minimal fitment issues, looks great. You, they're just hard to beat, guys. So there's my review. Hope you guys like it. Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about intakes and not just any take, any take. Really nice little finished areas here. Uh, There's a huge tree that just fell. Uh, I wish I could have caught that on camera. That would have been cool. Yeesh. Wish, wish noises.